Welcome to the Unicom guide on how to continental plate, how to Berlin wall, how to waylord, sorry, on how to mouse, and no, I'm not talking about that device you have on your computer or the animal that likes cheese as much as the French like to retreat. I'm talking about the infamous mouse. The mouse is a tier 10 German super heavy tank, and when I say super heavy I mean it is a really thick boy as fuck, and true to its thickness it is the best armored tank in game. However, the current player base who have a hard time trying to think and breathe at the same time aren't capable of making it work, because they just expect the armor to bounce everything without angling at all. It's basic physics children. The correct way to play the mouse and to make Mr. Hit, I mean Germany proud, is the following. The mouse is fast, if you throw it of a cliff. You are extremely slow, slower than Germany pulling of Operation Barbarossa so positioning at the beginning of the battle is key. Try to go for the center, or to where your allies have gone. Because if you're left alone rushed by the enemy team, or simply everyone has gone to the other side of the map you are fucked. Once you spot the enemy try to bounce their incoming shells by wiggling, wiggle hard because, if you don't angle, and wiggle your tank you will get penetrated, like how the Russians penetrated Berlin. Once they missed or bounced their shot you punish them with your big, girthy, juicy 122mm gun. Bring incredible amounts of Pramo, because the standard pen on the mouse is not that great, and you will struggle to go through enemy armor. If there are multiple targets shooting at you try to track when they are on a reload, and when they are about to shoot to angle properly and bounce all of their shots. If your teammates have too many chromosomes and decided to go anywhere else but where the enemy is and you get circled, you try to ram the underage kids who try to farm your Olympic hit point pull. By getting yourself against a wall it'll be harder for them to pen you. And if you have the chance trap them between you and a hard place, they won't be going anywhere. The ramming technique is actually very good, since you save money on shells and deal decent amount of damage due to your thickness. But although you ram, you do not face hug. Due to your height, underage kids can fundle your balls while your gun isn't able to reach them. And when facing other tanks they won't have problems penning cause of your weak cheeks. Always remember that your cheeks unangled are as useful as nipples on men and as strong as the will of teenagers to live. For the equipment, you get gun rammer to boost a bit your DPM, improved modules to ram, and to increase the survivability of your tracks, improved optics cause they can see you from the fucking ISS, enhanced gun lane drive for aim time, enhanced armor cause you're already made of the finest German armor, so improving it won't hurt, improved control so it doesn't take 3 full moons to make a complete turn. Vertical stabilizer for aim time, and for the rest choose whatever the fuck you want. If you follow this unicum correctly you will be able to survive from situations like this. And it's that easy. Now go out there and prove to those filthy communist and capitalist who is the thickest boy in town. Spreading Germanism all around Europe. Bye for now. Have a good one.